autograph name. No, one does not always underline the autograph name. Watch. In the chat there, quadruple A. There. I just printed out my autograph name, and it is not underlined. So, no, one does not always underline the autograph name. Thanks for the question. Appreciate that. Doesn't the last name need to be in brackets? No, it does not. Not in that scenario, it doesn't. Why doesn't it need to be in brackets? Well, do you know the mechanics behind colons? Quadruple A? No, it does not stand for a prepositional phrase. It stands for a positional lodial phrase. Positional lodial. Prepositional is no contract. So if you know that then, if you know that it stands for a positional lodial phrase, for the, of the, with the, by the, so why, when I write out the name, colon Jason, I Matthew, colon glass, would the colon glass need to be in brackets? What's wrong with for the Jason, I Matthew of the glass period? Is there anything wrong with that? By your knowledge? What is underlined is to be taken as a whole. Let me give you another video that you can study for closure on exactly what it is you're talking about because I have a feeling you have not really watched too many videos on creating a correct sentence structure. I'm guessing that because your question is very beginner-esque, which if you're a beginner, I mean, that stands to reason. So let me let me help you out here, quadruple A. One minute. And then I will also explain it verbally. But first, I, I want to give you a video. A compound fact is connected, is two facts coming together connected by a hyphen. That is what a compound fact is. And those can be underlined or not underlined, depending. But in correct sentence structure, the underline, the bottom line is used to whatever is being bottom lined is to be taken as a whole. For the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the correctness with the name by the Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass forward slash claimant. What is wrong with this sentence? This is not correct sentence structure. It's not mathematically certified forwards and backwards. Why is this not? mathematically certified forwards and backwards. I have credentialed to claim it. All right, so the positional four, what is the function of the positional four? Does anybody know? Four is, the function of four is the cause. The cause of the sentence. What is the cause of the sentence? The claimant's knowledge. What is the function of of? Of is the concern of the sentence. What are the facts concerned with the claimant's knowledge? Singular verb is. The possessive is with. With the claim. The claim is possessing the facts. What's the claim concerned with? The correctness of is a concern. Correctness is concerned with the claim. What is possessing the correctness? The name. Okay, and what is the authority of the name? Jason hyphen Matthew. But you see this colon right here. What does this colon represent? Now I have to I have to ask quadruple A because this is specifically to do with him. What is this in his knowledge? Because he says he knows colon mechanics. What does this colon represent here? After the Matthew, what possession, uh, sorry, what positional does that represent?
No, it does not represent by the. Because if you know colon mechanics, you know that by the would be represented by a colon that was tied up against the G in glass. But even that's not correct in this case. Because you wouldn't have that. The only way that you could have two by those next to one another is if you would have a conjunction between them by the Jason Ife and Matthew and by the glass claimant. But that makes absolutely no sense. And that's not what I originally wrote. I originally wrote this, which means this. And that is why it is not correct sentence structure because it ends on a concern. It has to end on an authority. But this ends on a concern, which is what that colon represents. So if, and I'm talking to you, quadruple A, if I'm on a platform like YouTube description of a YouTube video or a YouTube comments field that does not allow underlining, it doesn't allow bottom lining, so I can't underline this, I can't underline this, in order to take this out so that it doesn't affect positional sequencing, I would do this. So now literally it reads by the Jason I and Matthew forward slash claimant. Because if you put something in brackets, it's not there. Because my volition is to be correct. That is why the only reason I would put brackets there. Now, on to the underline, the bottom line. When you bottom line something, what is being bottom lined or underlined is to be taken as a whole. So for the claimant's knowledge, claimant's knowledge is a seven. It is one entire entity. It's a seven. So if I underline... Jason I from Matthew Colon Glass, this whole thing is a seven. It takes this colon out of consideration for positional sequencing. See? If I didn't have the underline there, now this positional is to be taken by itself. And so therefore it would look like this. And that is not correct. It would not end on an of the. It has to end on a by the. Thus, that is why I underline the name. So that's taken as a whole. So four is five, the is six, claimant's knowledge is seven, of the facts, five, six, seven, is is two, with the claim, five, six, seven, of the correctness, five, six, seven, with the name, five, six, seven, by the Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass, five, six, seven, forward slash claimant, seven. Jason Matthew glass is syntax as one whole thing because I underlined it to be taken as a whole. It's in the styles manual of my dictionary. All my contracts give closure to this. And then the forward slash claimant. So this is a five, six, seven, forward slash seven. Another way to write it, if you wanted to, is put that five, six, seven, zero, seven. Or you could do this as well. Five six seven zero five six seven, because conjunctions in correct sentence structure, in the context of correct sentence structure communication, are bridges. They connect either five six seven five six seven or sevens. So in this case, it's five six seven zero five six seven, or as I originally wrote it. Five six seven 
zero seven. And there's your closure on why I use brackets sometimes with the colon space last name and also why I use the bottom line, which quadruple A you can find in so many videos <laughs> if you would just look. If you would just take the time to study and look like the playlist, the correct sentence structure playlist, this is all on there. It's all available to you. You just got to take the time to look for it. But it does not have to, the autograph does not have to be underlined all the time. You ask the question, does one always underline the autograph name? And the answer is no. Quite simply. You're welcome. Got to go. That was an extra 20 minutes, but I appreciate the question. I wish I would get more questions like that right off the bat because it would be a very cool stream if that were the case. Then we could just get into the whole teaching thing. Because, again, what you put in is what you get out. And quadruple A put a question in there, a valuable question, and hopefully I gave them valuable closure. And, again, folks, that very closure that I just gave him is available for free in many other videos on this channel. You just got to build up the courage to look for it and start watching. Thank you.